everything's connected and I've learned that when I am playing and I'm rocking out, if I haven't stretched out my neck or my shoulders or anything, what ends up happening is my hands, they don't want to, they don't want to act right either. So everything just gets tight. Um, so I do, I drink a ton of water, always drinking water and um, just try to stretch a lot. Um, the, the biggest thing for me with stretching is uh, try to keep the arm like extended and then pull your, pull your fingers back and you have to do it real slow and keep it, keep kind of a constant pressure. And then <clears throat> that pulls up this whole muscle up in here. And then if you also stretch back over and look the other way and you hold it, you can't just do it for a short amount of time. You gotta do it for 15 to 30 seconds. You just do that on both sides, look away, and then you can really feel it through your arm and into your neck. And uh, that's stuff that I really, I do religiously. And then also I shake out my hands all the time when I'm after I've been warming up for, uh, for a show or something, I get all the blood moving and then I just really shake and try to keep everything loose. Because you, you get those muscles to tense up a little bit and then you shake them out and they, they're loose and warm. And I've, got a, uh, I've got this old kind of bean bag style pillow so it just absorbs all the, uh, all the impact of what I'm doing. And I just do that. And doing that, you have to it absorbs every hit so you have to lift up and it just takes in all the impact so it doesn't shock your hands at all um, with the impact of like a typical warm-up pad or anything so just do uh, rudiments and that kind of stuff and start real slow and then build up and sometimes I will warm up with the click track going and uh, just get that just get playing with a click you know for a good 15 20 minutes before uh, before we go on try to warm up for 15 minutes and then stretch for another 15 then I'm usually ready to go um, the new record is uh, it is it's basically a part two of the we don't need to whisper record and uh, it's it's definitely a uh, another step into what it is that angels and airwaves is all about um, the music is uh, just as epic and and triumphant as ever but I really feel like we uh, we were able to explore a little bit more with the songwriting but at the same time it was it was a more comfortable situation because now we've been a band for a couple years so it was easier to work together we've been on the road and uh, really just played together a lot more so it came even more naturally we are absolutely going to uh, tour the hell out of this record we uh, we got around the world a little bit last on the last time but we really felt like we needed to get back in the studio and, you know, start start the next half of it. So um, that's why we were back in and, and recording, and probably halfway done with the record by the time it was a year after our first show. So we went in pretty quickly afterwards. The first record, We Don't Need to Whisper, did really well, but um, I think with I Empire, we're going to be able to get a lot more places, and more people are used to hearing our name and and know what we're about. Be a little bit interested to see what we're up to. I have a lot of respect for the guys that make it so far in these competitions. I mean, you're really putting yourself out there to go and compete at the local store and then to get onto the, uh, the national finals. It's, it takes a lot of uh, focus and dedication to, to get to that point. And I have a lot of respect for those, those players that are there doing that. Um, and for the most part, the stuff that they're playing is just crazy beyond me like I have no idea like what what is going on there what are they doing and it's incredible to see like the level of uh, just technical ability with a lot of these guys it's really it's just I mean it's amazing my favorite guys that I've seen play at these things are the ones that they kind of start out with a with a basic feel and they they kind of stick to it and whether or not they they come back to it after doing some different fills and different kind of sections but they it's like a reoccurring theme that their whole little section is based on. And I, I think that there's really something to say about like that musical approach to playing the drums and trying to have a feel that you come back to because that's what, for me, that's what playing the drums is all about. It's the way it feels. And so if these guys kind of get a groove going and then go off on a couple tangents, I really, I have a lot of respect for that. My advice to, uh, to people entering in the drum off is to play what feels comfortable and play what feels like you can actually say something with what you're doing and, and don't necessarily try to get as many notes or as many hits in 
in as short amount of time as possible because that's that's not always what good drumming is all about. Do you 